Field Service Mobile is a mobile app that helps technicians view and complete work orders as part of Dynamics 365 Field Service. Whether connected to the internet or in offline mode, technicians can view their scheduled jobs and see detailed information of what needs to be done to resolve issues at their customers' locations. Common examples include inspecting an asset, configuring an IoT device, or simply performing routine maintenance. Let's take a look at using and configuring Field Service Mobile for on-site service scenarios. First, download the app from your device's App Store. On the left, we are downloading it from the Windows 10 Store, and on the right, from the Apple iOS App Store. In either store, search for Field Service Mobile. Then download and launch the blue app. Here we are looking at Field Service Mobile from a Windows tablet. To sign in, go to Settings, then find the Dynamics 365 section. When you're there, enter your Dynamics 365 Field Service URL and your username and password. Then sync to sign in and view your service-related information like work orders. If you're using an iPhone or Android device, the process is exactly the same. Go to Settings and sign in with your credentials. The application is very similar on tablets and phones. The only difference is the tablet allows you to see more information at one time. Here we are looking at the exact same work order on the phone and tablet. The phone is simply showing one panel at a time. After logging in, the technician can see various information related to on-site service, like accounts and contacts, bookings and work orders, assets and IoT devices, and more. In the Bookings tab, you will see work orders and other jobs scheduled for today. You can also see these same jobs in a daily, weekly, or monthly calendar view. When a technician is ready to begin his or her work order, he or she can simply select one and more information will display. Double tapping the top will make the work order appear in full screen. First thing is a technician may set the status to traveling to indicate that he or she is going to the job. And the technician can view the map to see where the job is or trigger their device's navigation app. Once on site, the technician will change the status to in progress. Below, you can see more information that describes what the job is about like the work order type and primary incident type, as well as instructions and a description. In this example, this work order is for a fire extinguisher inspection and we can begin filling out the inspection form. The inspection guides a technician through various questions about the asset, like a checklist, measurement readings, photo and video, and more. He or she can then mark the inspection as completed when done. Back on the work order, technicians can also note the products that are used as part of this service. They can note the number of units used and build, as well as the warehouse the products came from. The same is true for service. The technicians can note how long to bill for labor as part of this service visit. Another important feature is the ability to attach pictures, videos, and audio recordings directly to the work order. This helps to build service history for the customer and for internal purposes. After work is performed, the customer can sign off with a digital signature from the work order form. And when the job is done, the technician will change the status to completed. This lets the back office know the job is complete and initiates any subsequent business processes, such as the send of a customer survey link or a manager's review. Finally, by selecting the sync icon, the latest information is sent to the server. Next, Let's show how to configure the Field Service mobile app for your business needs. From Dynamics 365 Field Service in your web browser, go to Settings, then Woodford. 
If you do not see Woodford, follow the online documentation to install Field Service Mobile. Then go to your mobile project that holds the default mobile configurations. Again, the online documentation shows how to set up a mobile project. The first thing you need to do is ensure your mobile configurations are assigned to the security roles who need it. Highlight your mobile project and choose Properties. Select the field service security roles and other roles that need access to the configurations that we are about to make. One of the most common configurations to the field service mobile app is editing the home screen. As you can see to the right, the home screen is the list of entities displayed on the main screen of the mobile app. In your mobile project, go to home screen in the left panel. On the left is a list of entities currently on the home screen, and on the right is a list of entities that can be added. As an example, let's move the bookable resource booking entity, shown as just bookings, up in the list. Next, let's find the warehouse entity and drag it onto the home screen. If you do not see an entity in the right side list, find the entity in the left panel and enable it. Here we are enabling the agreement entity for mobile use. After you have made changes to the home screen, choose the version of your mobile app in the top left. If you do not know your mobile app version, go to the About section in the Home tab of your mobile app. In this example, our app is version 12.1, so we will publish to version 12.1 in Woodford. Then select Publish. Next we need to pull the Publish changes to the mobile app. In the mobile app, choose the Sync icon. This grabs the latest data from the server. Then select the down arrow to download the new customizations. After the Sync, we can see the two changes we made to the home screen. The Bookings tab is moved toward the top of the list, and Warehouses are now available on the home screen as well. Another very important configuration is offline sync filters. This defines what data is downloaded to the device when there is no internet access. You can define sync filters for each entity. Let's look at an example for bookable resource bookings. Select sync filter in the top ribbon. Here we can see that when it comes to bookings, the bookings that are downloaded to the device are ones that relate to the current logged in user, are active and not canceled, relate to work orders that are not canceled or closed, and start or end in the next seven days. Simply edit these filters, then save and close when you're done. Create sync filters for each entity based on your business needs. As a good rule, only download the minimum data that is required. This saves data usage and increases performance. Next, let's show how to edit mobile views. A view is how a list of records are displayed. In the mobile app to the right, we can see a view of today's bookings. Let's show how to edit this view. In Woodford, find the bookable resource booking entity and select the blue icon to find the related forms and views. In this case, we will edit the bookings public view. You can see the view is called bookings at the top of the mobile app. As just one example, we will change the field shown in the view. Here this view shows the street address of the booking. Instead, let's edit the view to show the city. Go to Select Fields in the top and add the fields you want to add to the view. Then from the right side, find the field and either double click to substitute or drag it onto the view. Then save and publish. Back in the mobile app, we will again sync and download our customizations. After it's done, we can see the view has been updated and it shows the city instead of the address. Next, let's show how to edit mobile forms. Let's start by looking at the work order form. On the left is an editable interface of the work order form. 
and on the right is that same work order form in the mobile app. You can edit the form with simple drag and drop. Here we will move the position of the work order priority field. Make sure to save your changes. Another important configuration is mobile workflows, also called form rules. Let's head back to the work order form editable interface. In the top ribbon is a section for form rules that you can trigger on load, on change, and on save of the work order form. Let's create a mobile workflow that runs on save of the work order form. Here you will see out of the box form rules. Let's click to the bottom and create a new workflow. Let's say if the work order summary field does not contain data, then a warning message should be displayed to the user urging them to please enter a summary. This will help enforce business processes. Then save and publish your changes. As always, we will sync and download the customizations to the mobile app. Then let's head to the work order form. On the work order form, we can see the priority field has been moved to its new position. Next, let's try to save the work order form. We can see a warning message is displayed because we did not enter in any information on the work order summary field. Finally, when customizing the mobile application for your business needs, there is a list of settings that are important. Let's take a look at these. In Woodford, go to Configuration in the left panel. Here is a list of various settings and defaults across many aspects of the mobile application like user interface, data, security, online mode, integrations, and more. Let's discuss a few important ones. On the security tab, note that there is an option to save the user's password. This prevents a technician from having to re-enter the password each time he or she loads the app, set to true to save the password. On the data tab, there are various settings for picture and signature files and if users can delete data. In online mode tab, decide when users can go into online mode and view data from the server. One option is to set online mode to Wi-Fi only, meaning that unless there is a Wi-Fi connection, the app will use local offline data. This can help save data usage. Lastly, in the integrations tab, you can find ways to integrate important services with the mobile app. One important one is an integration with Bing Maps. To go live, you will need to create your own Bing Maps API key and enter it here to allow mapping services on Field Service Mobile.